good morning. <laughs> I was starting this off in my car because I'm too scared to vlog in front of my family yet. <laughs> I need to get a new battery for my key fob. My key fob, is that the right word? Because I woke up at 5.15 this morning um, to the sound of my alarm going off. And at first I was like, is this a dream? Long story short, I woke up several times because my key is just like, hey, sis, I'm dying here. I need you to give me some juice. And you know, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna do that for her. We've made it to Home Depot and I have a lot of anxiety about filming in here, but it's fine. Hi, I'm a liar. <laughs> I didn't film. The battery station was right up next to where the cash register was. And I'm sorry, but like, I'm not gonna talk to myself while there's just a bunch of people staring at me. I put my ear pod in my pocket and I'm digging through my pocket and I just have trail mix <laughs> and zip ties. Later on, I'm gonna go to Boulder and see my sister to drop off a check <laughs> and in the meantime, let's change my battery because I don't want my car to yell at me anymore. I can't figure this out. Here's the thing. I can't not like it. I can't that's what I meant to say. Okay. Okay, don't whack myself with it, but uh, completed. Dad, where should I put this dead battery in um, for recycling? Okay, awesome, thank you. Bingo. Nice. Make sure that you're not throwing away your batteries because they cannot go in a landfill. This is the Jimi Hendrix portrait that my dad has. In case you want to see her. I already come out of my house looking crazy or running in and out several times. So now, oh, uh oh, does the key fob work? Yeah, boy. Anyway, now that I'm gonna be holding a camera up to my face all the time, I'm really gonna think I'm crazy. Do you like the angle that I've been filming at? Like, I think this is gonna be how I film. <laughs> so Terry came in, who's our printer tech, and he helped me unjam my printer because last night I was silly and didn't change the size. Just a bunch of technical stuff, I don't know. Um, I am going to recalibrate it. I'm gonna do some sticker stuff. I'm gonna catch up on emails. Absolutely, I'll give you a call with you. Also, can we just, can we just, Indy at Bora Bora Nails will do you right. So, um, I feel scammed. I feel it's rude. I, so I changed my key fob with you guys. I did. And did you see my car out there, my little baby out there? She was beeping again. She was beeping at me again. And so that means there's something else that's an issue. And that's an issue for me because I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> I'm home, <laughs> so I'm not going to Boulder because Sam has plans and so I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go Thursday. Um, and so tonight, Eva and Avery and Kaylee and Jude and I are going to keep working on our garden living room project, which <laughs> I will explain, I will explain. Uh, 
<laughs> so not much of explaining <laughs> but what we were actually doing is brainstorming chat sesh of um, what we are planning on doing with the stuff that we are creating right now i will still explain to you what was going on so i was originally going to blend some cardboard but i decided that i will not succumb my family to that sound at 10 40 at night <laughs> so instead i'm gonna be doing something else but i did want to quickly explain what i have been talking about we've been making panels to create a trunk question mark i have to learn the anatomy of the mushroom now um but like the base part of the mushroom for a mushroom house that is going to go over a couch that we are going to bring into the forest <laughs> for like a garden living room type of situation for fairies um, we've been making wings, if you didn't know. Also, we got this idea from an incredible YouTuber. I will also link to the video that inspired this whole thing. Um, so literally a million, million percent of the credits go to her. Just quickly show you. her real quick. So we built these panels out of chicken wire and PVC pipe. Um, this was one long PVC pipe that we cut in half. And then we took, <laughs> this is so difficult to do by myself. We just kind of like made a panel, I think six feet tall and 56 inches wide and we are going to use the cardboard that we cut up um, recently as well to paper mache that on to like create the, the panel part you know so it's not like a chicken wire <laughs> mushroom house so over the past couple of weeks we've also been collecting a lot of cardboard we have to cut it all up so that we can soak it in water and blend it up into a pulp so that we can use that as our paper mache situation and so we did a test batch this is what she looks like right now so we <laughs> eva and avery and i sat around this bucket and just like cut <laughs> this like huge amount of cardboard um until it turned into this little bucket thing and then we just dumped some water in there and soaked her for like several several days i did try to blend this already and i believe i took footage of that it's not it didn't work <laughs> so instead of using like 90 percent cardboard and 10 percent water i'm going to be smart and not make my blender work 400 times harder than it really needs to and switch the ingredients for those ratios. So I'm gonna do 90% water and 10% cardboard. So I've been making these little uh, spiders out of bead and wire, and I just kind of, it's been a very soothing activity for me to do, and I've been quite enjoying myself. Um, so I'm gonna just make some more for my little lake nighttime, pastime, wind down thing. I found myself to be feeling more creative recently. I started to get back into photography during quarantine too, which was needed, <laughs> extremely needed. Um, not doing that actively during the time that I was in college was Wow, a mistake. So I'm excited to be doing that again and like thinking about shoots, thinking about projects, thinking about themes that I want to explore within myself. Also, a lot of the stuff that I'm creating is for some like shadow work projects too. <laughs> it will be a while before anyone sees that. Don't. Um, 
expect that soon but expect a lot of really like way more fun stuff soon like the mushroom house and our little fairy creation <laughs> I've been having so much fun doing that with everybody Avery and Eva came back from New York which has also been Kaylee and I work together now which I cannot express to you how much fun it has been I love you I want to document what we're doing I'm stretching right now and I did not notice this um, on my leg y'all see that y'all see that that is nasty um, octopus vibes though maybe some cool makeup that I could do on someone's leg if they're like an octopus fairy. That would be sick. It's so late, but um, I finally finished her little swirl on her butt and her tentacly spotty spider arms.